Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are out and about. Um, last night my mechanic called that he couldn't log into his server system, something that I've set up and we have been here before and uh, I jumped on remotely and could see that the server had, uh, it had thrown a few hard drives and so yeah we need to go and do something because um, it's, it's not great without the hard drives. So the server lives in here. Up here. And okay, we actually have an SSD lying around here. That's I don't know why that is sitting there, but last night we put in another uh hot drive there. And that didn't do anything, it did, just didn't start. So uh, let's start from the start. It has three hard drives here. Two of them are in a mirror, uh, these two, and they are spinning disks. And then it has an SSD here, and that SSD has given up. Uh, and that's the main issue. Um, the rest of the stuff is located on this NAS up here which is doing fine, no issues whatsoever. But it's an issue that this SSD is, uh, is not doing anything right now. So we need to replace that with something else. I do believe it's an SSD, much like this one. I think I might have had this SSD down here to, um, to put in one more. And I never got around to it and now it's too late. So uh, yeah. There were three virtual machines running on that SSD and now they're not running anymore. The backup should be up here. I checked it last night and it seems like there's a backup. So, uh, but yeah, Sunday morning, it's uh, not even eight o'clock yet and I'm um, already an hour from home. We need this to come up and running. We do also have a bit of an, a water issue here. So, uh, yeah. It was noticed last night that uh, something has been been pouring into the server. That's not the issue right now. Server is fine. And this is the server. It is running VMware ESXi 6.7, uh, and it's the server is the IBM System X3650 Model 3. It has two processors. It has 64 gigabytes of memory. So, okay. We need to get on with this. I'm not gonna film everything because um, when you're filming, you're kind of shutting your brain off and I might do something stupid. So I will wait, I'll do the stupid thing and then I'll come back and tell you what happened. So um, uh, let's go upstairs. So I brought some drives to replace the, the failed SSD. I have brought three enterprise level SSDs here. And I want to put those in a RAID 5, I think, would be good. Then I have two drives, just like the one uh, in the mirror that has failed, because we put in one of those last night uh, in the hopes that it could synchronize during this night. And it didn't synchronize, so there's something off with that drive, so uh, yeah. Um, but I can't do that right away because if I replace one of these drives with the one down there It will start synchronizing and that will take all day and then we get nothing else done <laughs> So uh, yeah need to put in this first and get a drive into VMware so that uh, I have something to start copying data over to and then I can uh, Can do this when this is up and running. There is also the the vague uh, thing that the SSD in there might come back when it's rebooted. I am not trusting that though. I think the SSD is worn out and uh, yeah, it might just have overheated and when I shut it down it comes back up. But that's, uh, I'm not relying on that. So I've logged into the VMware, uh, or the server down there, and we can kind of see if we go into storage here, storage. We have, uh, we have that SSD in the middle here 
and it just tells us that there's no room on it there's no bytes free no no nothing the other ones are fine we can see that the the two spinning discs just shows up as one spinning disc that's because they are in a mirror and then we have the the nas and that's a that's a terabyte ish and that is half full and in the nas there is all the virtual machines and on this one there's uh, supposed to be three virtual machines and uh, at the moment not so much i do know which virtual machines that is and so yeah i need to shut down this so that we can go down and put in some drives i want to want to shut them down nicely if i can okay we have a little progress here <laughs> i have imported those three drives i've put them in the front over here they're up there and it seems like i've messed up last night when we replaced drive number one because drive number one wasn't a spinning disc i was uh, i was sure that i would have two spinning discs in a raid one in there and I did not, so this is very unsecure. I have one spinning disk in a RAID 0. That's not even a RAID, is it? So at the moment I have that one spinning disk. That's the, the first drive. Then I have the three drives that I just put in, which is already configured in a RAID 5. I just imported that. Then I have a SSD. That is drive number 0 that I put back in. And... Um, it was uh, it was bad but i was able to tell the system that it was good and i could import it again so if i'm lucky it will see the drive and i can move the virtual machines over and then we can get rid of it i don't trust it when it did this trick but yeah uh, i think we're good to try and boot the server the last blue one is uh, is a SSD that is sitting in there which has not been in use at all so I'm not gonna use that for anything I think my thought was that I would at some point make those SSDs redundant uh, put them in a mirror and that never happened so yeah maybe this works on the model 3 here you get into the the configuration of the rate controller in the system bias here and it's under system settings and it's down here under Wi-Fi drivers there and here is all the different stuff that you can set and if you press here you will get in and configure the, the rate controller and you can add your new drives in there and, and configure uh, virtual drives that will be presented to the operating system so but we are on our way out of the BIOS so we'll exit setup and we will Oh, that's a Y. Okay, boot the server again. Okay, so it's it's blinking normally in the front here now. I have no idea if well, it, the server has booted and it might it's probably starting up virtual machines right now. So uh, let's go see how it does with that. So the two normal drives that was in there before is is booting the virtual machines. So. Maybe the emergency wasn't as big, uh, but yeah, improvements needs to be done. Okay, we are moving a virtual machine now. It's, uh, it's, it's moved 58%. This virtual machine did behave very well on the broken disk, so it might not work to move it over, but at the same time, it's like it doesn't matter that much this server, the virtual machine that I'm moving, if it breaks so I'm testing with the with the machine that has least important and then afterwards I will try with the, this Navision server that's that's kind of the the most important one and then there's the this old uh, 2008 uh, Windows server which is just uh, the login server and well, it's more or less it's a file share but yeah it's a uh, it's behaving way better than I had dared to hope for. Okay, this is working way better than I had dared to hope for. 
we have moved over the first virtual machine I did my uh, it's an old 2012 I'm not even sure if I'm using this anymore but it was on the disk that was iffy <laughs> at the moment it's it's running I think it's running very slowly but we moved that over copied it over to the to these three discs here and then I renamed the old one to old and I started up uh, the machine at the new location and it started up and it uh, booted flawlessly it asked me if it was moved or copied and I told it that it was moved and there was no issues whatsoever so at the moment I'm copying over the next machine which is a rather large one that's the Active Directory one this old 2008 which was new when I installed it back in the day <laughs> that was the, the latest and the greatest so I've been doing IT here for years uh, I probably should upgrade that at some point but normally uh, that wasn't that is not what has failed and the copy is going okay it's very slow this um, I think that the SSD in there is uh, isn't there something about the SSDs before they die they slow down and I think that might be the case here that it's operating very slow and then at some point it will stop working and we need to get our stuff copied over before it stops working okay this is uh, right now it's working we are copying over that uh, well it's X I have I've pointed at another server we are still copying over this DC Active Directory thinking and we're at 62% and it's very slow so 62% is almost three hours of past time that it has taken to copy that over so now I am driving back home and I hope to be doing the rest of it remotely so when this virtual machine has been copied over I'll rename it and I'll activate the new one that has been copied over and I'll do the same thing with this server and yeah this has gone way better than I was anticipating uh, right now it's taking a long time because this server has some hard drives connected to it and it's copying that over very very slowly I don't know why it's so slowly but it's slowly so yeah we're gonna end it here and hopefully on a good note and when you see this this will long be copied over and we should be back in production and if we're not I'll be back here tomorrow morning fixing even more I'm sure so uh, yeah disaster recovery live so thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and please don't make the same mistakes that I do have a nice day bye bye